This video is all about shoes. Find out what a shoe has to do with writing. But first, ooh, I need an odor eater. Hey, it's Tuesday, time for another Prompt My Story video. I'm Marty Chan, a kids author, storyteller, and playwright. If you're new to the YouTube channel, hello and welcome. Every week I put out a short video with a writing tip and a story prompt to help teachers motivate their students to become better writers and to help students become much more creative. In this video, I want to talk about shoes. In particular, walking in other people's shoes. When you're creating characters, you're trying to make those characters seem relatable and three-dimensional. Oftentimes, it's easy to come up with great heroes in your stories because we often put ourselves in the shoes of our main characters and we kind of know who we are and what we're about. But when it comes to some of the other characters, in particular the villains or the antagonists in the story, it's harder to put on their shoes and sometimes we make them seem less three-dimensional, right? We've got a villain who gets up and their only intent, their only motivation, their only desire is to do bad things in the world. Well, to be honest, we're not sure what every villain wants to do until we can actually put ourselves in their shoes. And one thing that I learned from my days working in television is that even a villain wakes up in the morning wanting to do something that they believe is good. Now, what their idea of good might be a lot different than what we think, but they still want to do something that makes them feel good. So if you want to come up with realistic and relatable characters, you've got to be able to walk in their shoes. And this is something that every writer needs to develop, which is a sense of empathy, to know how other people feel and to understand why they act the way they do. It doesn't mean you have to agree with what they're doing. It just means you have to understand their motivations behind their actions. When you can develop that empathy, then you can come up with great characters. So as a mini exercise, this week's story prompt is going to show you a few different characters in a scene. And what I want you to do is I want you to try to write the story from the different points of view of each of the characters you see in this clip. All right, here's the writing prompt for this video. And there we go, this week's story prompt. Like I said, try to write it from the different points of view of the characters in the story and take it one step further and try to develop empathy for the people around you. And take it one step further. In your life, take a look at the people you know, your friends, your family members, your mortal enemy, the guy who won't give you an odor eater for your stinky runner, and think about how they see the world from their point of view. In other words, try to walk a mile in their shoes so that you can develop that empathetic skill that you need to create great characters. Speaking of empathy, I'm hoping that the one person who may be watching this video right now show some empathy for me. Um, a few videos ago, I gave a shout out to some awesome writers at Mill Creek School where I had done a writing residency. I made a promise to this group of online learners that if it came up with some really awesome and spooky stories, the teacher was going to pick like three top place winners and one honorable mention and they were all voted on by the students in the class. So I was going to give a shout out to all the winners. But due to a miscommunication error, I actually named the wrong person for first place. So, uh, Isabel at Mill Creek, I am going to make it up to you by giving you the full spotlight. Yeah. 
You are an awesome writer and you deserve this spotlight. Once again, I'm sorry I didn't give you the spotlight earlier, but now it is all yours. You are a fantastic writer and I hope you keep writing. On that note, I want to say thank you to all my viewers for checking out all the videos I've made. If you have suggestions for future videos, put them down in the comments because I'm always looking for new ideas for videos. All right, take care. We'll see you around in the next video.